Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. It's about 4.30. I'm super excited about showing you this scarf that I'm starting. One of my friends uh, has ordered a scarf and I had a couple questions for him. I asked him what color, how long, do you want a 100% acrylic or do you want a wool blend? Those are the basic questions. I forgot to ask him about fringe, but I'll find out soon enough. Anyway, he told me he wanted light brown. He wanted a five foot scarf and he wanted a wool blend. So I knew I could meet all of that criteria and this morning I went out to the yarn barn and I got the most amazing yarns. I'm going to show them to you. This is Mary Maxim Woodlands and it is called Beige Heather and it is 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca wool which I don't often make things out of alpaca wool but I really love this color and it's a heather but uh, I wanted to make it a little browner so I'm adding Premier Chamo Mix I'm sorry Chamo Nix you can tell I don't use these very often which is a very thin yarn it's thinner than a sport yarn and it is 80% acrylic 10% mohair and 10% polyam polyamide and I don't honestly know what polyamide is but these are both super soft and they both have some version of wool in them so I'm like, I knew if I blended these together, I'd come out with an outstanding tweed that was super soft and would make him very happy. I, I've known this guy for years, and uh, this isn't the first scarf he's ordered. So, I started it today, and I want to show you what I've done. I cast on 26 stitches on size ten and a half needles and then proceeded to do six rows of double ribbing also incorporating on the edges this very pretty loopy edging that Chrissy taught us which I referenced in the last uh, tutorial I started doing those right away I don't wait until I start the actual pattern I, I start it right away uh, at the edge of uh, the ribbing. So instead of knitting uh, just a straight two stitches here on the ends, which is what you get, you get two stitches of knitting on the front on each side, um, there's going to be that loopy stitch replacing the first stitch, which still gets knitted but it's it's done in a special way and I show you that on the on the first tu tutorial, how do you do it. Um, so, anyway, um, the beauty of this pattern, besides it being an absolutely drop-dead gorgeous and super soft scarf, it's gonna it's gonna keep the keep the heat in uh, when you're cold. This is I I switched to size 11 needles when I started the pattern, and again when I start the pattern I don't start cabling on row one of the pattern I start cabling on row three of the pattern so where the cabling panel is I'm knitting six stitches in both of those columns of what's going to be the cabling panel uh, and on row three that's where I begin actually beginning the cable so what's so fabulous about a 26 row pattern is that things are pretty much the same on the front except your seed stitches after the cable and before the next cable 
are single column like they are on the edges. You don't have a ton of seed stitches here. You've got a, a column of a single single um, seed stitch here and then you do your cable and then you have a single column of single seed stitches on the other side of the cable on both sides. So you don't have as many cable stitches as you do with the 30 stitch pattern but what makes this wonderful is you flip it over and you're basically anywhere anywhere there's just stockinette going on not the cross you're able to zip all the way across in just purl stitches anywhere you have stockinette going on and not adding your cross in yet you have a straight shot of just purl stitches that is a great thing to do if you're in a hurry to make a scarf make a 26 row I'm sorry 26 stitch pattern and then you have nothing but pearls to worry about on the back a lot of the time that's not true of course when you have a cross because then you have to navigate around the two stitches in the middle of your uh, cross panel to do the back of the cross but part of the time you have stockinette going on here so my pattern here is with size 11 needles 26 stitches cast on I have already made eight rows of stockinette so I will be beginning my cross on this upcoming row and I'm gonna do that right now I'm not going to take you too deep into this video, but here's what we're doing. Remember that the yarn is on the back for this first stitch, which is this loopy, pretty lacy, loopy edge. So we're going to knit it this way and slip it onto the needle. Then we're going to purl one. Then we're going to knit two. I've already started the cables. Cable back. You're slipping two stitches onto your cable needle, dropping it behind. Knit the next two stitches on the cable. Remember, I've got two strands going on, so you got to make sure you're catching both of them. And then taking the two stitches from the cabling needle and, and knitting those and now I've completed my cable for this part of this row now instead of knit per I'm sorry purl knit purl which we did on the last tutorial we're just purling once and then moving along now you put the yarn back behind and you're gonna start your cross one two three there's eight stitches in the cross panel you knit the first three then you bring the yarn forward so you can purl two this is the big this is the beginning this is the bottom of the cross and then you put your yarn back after your two stitches of purl and you knit the last three stitches of this cross panel and then you flip the yarn forward and purl your one stitch again we don't have purl knit purl on a 26 stitch pattern we only have one purl there you still have your seed stitches in your in your uh, scarf but it's just a single column single column here single column here single column here and then single column over here and the reason we can do this is because we're using larger needles and two strands of bulky enough yarn that you still have fluidity but you still have a warm scarf and you still have adequate width to the scarf okay I've done my single purl stitch put the yarn back behind again and we're gonna do this second cable knit two slip your cabling needle in the next two stitches drop it behind and then knit two the last two stitches of your cable and then drop your 
yarn behind, bring up the, be whoops, <laughs> they do slip off the needles very easily. Okay, so this is um, the cabling needle stitches are going to be knitted. I don't know how well this camera is showing all this. I'm going to have to check this and make sure this is working for us. And bring the yarn forward for that one single purl right before the very last stitch, which the yarn is already in front now, so you just slip that last stitch onto your knitting needle. And now I'm done with this row. So we have started the beginning of the bottom of the first cross. We had already started back here with our cables. We had already started back here with our seeds. You wouldn't believe how soft this is. This is these two yarns are absolutely wonderful together. They're wonderful alone, but together they make a really pretty shade of beige. He asked for light brown. I know he's going to love this. Uh, and it's a tweed. It's a tweed because I blended colors. And, uh, and it's a blended scarf to begin with because it's not all acrylic. There are a uh, couple of kinds of wool involved with this. This is going to be one of his favorite scarves. I'm sure he's going to love it. So, now we're going to do the back. You're knitting the loopy stitch with the yarn behind and making that first stitch. Now, we're going to purl a lot. One, two, three, see I don't even need to count. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, now we're at the cross. How did I know that? Because the next two stitches are knits on the back. That means we're at the back of the cross, bottom. So we knit those two, and we go back to purling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the very last stitch, the yarn's already where it belongs, just slip it onto your needle. And there you have it. Now, we'll be proceeding with the next 10 rows of cross, continuing our cable pattern, continuing our single column of seed stitches. And when you do the back, you only have to skip around the cross part of this. And then when you get done with your cross, which is 12 rows later, start to finish is 12 rows, it's a 12 row cross, then you go back to this eight row section of stockinette. And on the back, all that means is you make your loop at the beginning, which is knitted. And then the next 24 stitches straight are purl. And then you put your loop on the end. And you have eight rows of the convenience of just purling the back. It's a fabulous feature of a 26 stitch pattern and I do that for children's scarves when I'm using one strand of yarn because I want it narrower and I'll use a smaller needle I'll use a 9 or a 10 and it'll still be a wonderful scarf for children so my children's scarves almost always get 26 stitches with with one strand of yarn and uh, it's a very uh, wonderful way to whip up scarves pretty quickly. My children's scarves are only three feet long, so I think it takes five or six hours to make a child's scarf. And uh, I, uh, I'm i going to keep putting fringe on the children's scarves, but I don't necessarily have to have fringe on my adult scarves. So anyway, this is all I'm going to show you for now. And uh, I'm just super excited about this because I don't think I've ever blended two wool blend 
threads together to make a tweed. Um, it, it's fabulous to the touch. It's super soft, and I'm particularly happy with this color. This is a light enough color that I don't need a ton of lighting for it while I'm working. But uh, I hope you like what I'm doing, and I'm going to end this video now. And again, if you have any questions, you can feel free to uh, leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer any questions you have. Again, my name is Don Slyke, um, representing Christian Neck Scarves, and I hope you like what you're seeing here. I will try to do uh, more tutorials in the near future. This is a special order, so I'm going to get this scarf done in the next couple of days for my friend. God bless your day. God bless all of you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.